Hi everyone, my name is Mayank and I'm the head of development to see here at Vulture. And in this tech talk, I'm really excited to introduce you all to Vulture Cloud Inference. Vulture Cloud Inference helps you build machine learning applications without being worried about the underlying GPU infrastructure. It lets you run inference workloads on open source large language models such as Mistral AI, Meta's Llama 2, and many more models. It is token-based pricing, so you only pay for the tokens that you consume without being worried about the GPUs to use, the model configuration, how to build an API. We have taken care of all of that, and it comes with a very easy-to-use pluggable API, which is fully compatible with OpenAI's chat completion, and it is available globally, so no matter where your user is coming from, their requests are always being redirected to the nearest inference zone for lowest latency. Some of the top use cases for a large language model include building a personalized chatbot. So it could be a healthcare agent, a retail chatbot, or anything that you want. You can even fine tune these models with your domain specific knowledge or build a rack pipeline. You can also use these models for summarizing a really large piece of document or extracting a small bit of information from it. Some of these models are really good at code generation. So you can use it to build applications. You can also use it for creative writing and for multilingual large language models. You can convert one language to another. You can spin up a virtual cloud instance subscription with a fixed monthly cost of $10, which includes 5 million token generations. For additional tokens, those are built at per thousand tokens. Be aware that this pricing model might change in the future because virtual cloud instance is still in early access which you can register for by going to the link present in the description down below. Now that you are aware of the product, I'll be demonstrating how to spin up a Vulture Cloud Inference subscription on the Vulture Customer Portal. To create a new Cloud Inference subscription, you need to log in to the Vulture Customer Portal. Once you're there, navigate to Products, Cloud Inference, and click on the Add button. Once you click on the button, you need to populate the label field I'll just say test and click on the add button. Once you click on the add button, you will be redirected to the management page of your subscription where you can see the API access endpoint, which is api.vulgareinference.com. You will also see your API key and the usage details, such as the tokens you have generated current month, previous month, the overage, and the cost involved with them. You can also click on generate new API key to regenerate the API key that is linked to your subscription. Here, you will also see multiple tabs such as prompt, where you can send a single inference prompt for testing the model and different parameters, how they impact the query. You can select the model by clicking on this drop down and send the query by clicking on the prompt button. Similarly, we also have a chat interface where you can select the model from the drop down here and set the max number of tokens that you want to generate. This is very helpful if you want to select a chat model and have a conversation with it before you implement it in your machine learning application. So, for testing the API, let's go back to the overview tab and let's go to the access endpoint. So it will show you the complete API documentation. So here you will find all the chat completion endpoints with all the parameters that are supported. You can also get a specific chat completion. You can create a chat completion. You can list all the models and you can get the token usage. So before doing anything, uh, let's get all the chat completion models for making the request. I am using Postman, but you can send a request using Python or Node.js or any OpenAI SDK because we are fully compatible with OpenAI chat completions. So for getting all the chat completion models, I'll send a request for the authorization. I've put in my API key as the token and I'll be sending the request now. In the response, I get a list of all the models which are available for inference. Here, I'll look up for Zephyr because that's what I'm going to use for my first chat completions request. So, I'm sending a POST request to the endpoint which is 
chat slash completions. So find the API documentation here. So the required fields are model and messages, which I am sending in the body as raw JSON request. So for the model, I have put in Zephyr. And for the list of messages, there is a system prompt which says respond with the capital of the country entered by the user. And for the user prompt, I have just put in India. By sending the request, I get a response with an 800 ms which says the capital of India is New Delhi, which is indeed correct. And that's it for the demonstration of Virtual Cloud Inference. I hope that you liked the demonstration. We also have technical documentation around virtual cloud inference and how to use it with Python, Node.js, Python with Langchain, Node.js with Langchain and you can find the links to those technical documents in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching today's tech talk and I hope to see you in the next one.